welcome to this video where I wanted to have a quick look at what Grand Design galaxies are. So before we do that, let's go back to the Hubble classification for galaxies, the tuning fork, where you have elliptical galaxies and spiral galaxies. Now spiral galaxies typically sit on the right hand side, they have a couple of branches. This is just shown with two but there can be an intermediate one. So you're at the top you've got your normal spirals and the bottom are the barred spirals. And in between you get the intermediates where they don't quite have a, a bar and they don't quite not have a bar essentially. But the spiral galaxies in these groups will evolve from the right hand side to the left hand side so the spiral arms get more tightly wound, they lose gas, things like that. So that's how they evolve. So they're spiral galaxies which are the ones we're interested in when we're looking at the grand design galaxies. So spiral galaxies, this is again referring to potentially the grand design ones, is that the star formation will occur in the spiral arms. So they have density waves which collapse the gas as it goes in, that then initiates your star formation, so you generally find that star formation kind of occurs in the arms itself. Spiral galaxies have an abundance of gas, so they can have star formation. As they evolve they do lose their gas, but generally they have gas which is different to the elliptical galaxies which don't have the gas. And because they have star formation or have some varying rates of that, they will have a population of younger blue stars, whereas the elliptical galaxies don't have the gas to form the new stars. So you generally find that they have an older, redder population of stars. So that's general spiral galaxies. They're also disc-like. So that means that they are um, disc-like in shape and they have a net rotation. So they kind of rotate in, the, in a plane, really. They have younger stars and that gas then feeds the recent star formation. So this is another key thing compared to elliptical galaxies which typically are more spherical and they don't necessarily have a net rotation. The stars are more randomly moving inside. So that's general spiral galaxies. A grand design galaxy might look like this. So they have very prominent spiral arms. And this one here you can see you've got very clear spiral arms and they go from the centre all the way out to the edge. So they are complete arms as well. So they don't start at the centre, come a little bit out, stop, then start again. They will be complete, very prominent arms that you can clearly identify as having spiral arms. So that is what a grand design galaxy actually looks like, what they are. This, for example, is not a grand design galaxy. You can see there's no clear, prominent spiral arms. They don't extend from the centre to the outer part. If, they, if there are any spiral arms associated here, they are patchy, they're not complete. So a non-grand um, design spiral galaxy might be more patchy, it might be more multi arm, things like that basically. And here's another example of a grand design galaxy. This is M51, the Whirlpool galaxy, and again you can see it's got very prominent spiral arms that go from the centre part of the galaxy all the way to the outer part and they are generally unbroken so again another good example of a grand design galaxy so thank you for watching and if you enjoy then check out some of the other videos